Live from deep in an underground bunker in East Tennessee, this is America's premier mortgage fuel services expert, Paul Williams. John Carroll. Mr. Carroll, it's Paul Williams. Uh, can you hear me okay? Yes, how do you do, Mr. Williams? Hey, pretty good, sir. Uh, I guess uh, <clears throat> you're the liaison that uh, is referred over uh, to to speak with me, and I don't really expect you know Central Maine and Power to, to say anything earth shaking. With that said, uh, are are you in possession of the email that I generated to Miss Ball? Yes, I think so. Uh, it's, I've I've had a string of them, so. I guess the question is exactly which one are you referring to? Um, I've only sent one. I have. It was okay. At 11, all right. Eleven twenty-three hours Pacific Standard Time today. It was addressed to Miss Ball, Craig Carnes, whom is the director of the HUD M and M, Rhonda Smithson, who is a representative uh, and liaison for Senator Bob Corker at Tennessee, Sue Bunell, <coughs> senior vice president. Uh, Senior General Counsel of Wells Fargo Contracts and Technology. The other two individuals, Todd Goya and James Hines, the PR reps uh, with Wells Fargo. And then Eric Miller, <coughs> whom is the Executive Director of the National Association of Mortgage Field Services. I can forward it direct to you if need be. Well, I, know, I, I think uh, I just want to make sure I've got, I've got, I've got one from Quality the 23 p.m. This is from Paul Williams to Linda Ball, Craig Conn. Okay, yep. yep, okay, I've got it, I've got it. Yep, yep, uh, just Yeah, because I'm licensed back feeding the residential properties. This is a matter of both foreclosure and mortgage field service. Uh, you know, here's what I'll tell you. I, I'm just spokesperson for the company. Um, I mean, certainly one thing I would say is I would agree, that, and we would agree that, you know, back feeding a residential property that's connected to the grid um, is unsafe. And, you know, and, and we uh, we certainly urge any of our customers if they're going to get a or require if they're going to hook up a transformer, I mean a uh, a, uh, a generator, that they have to have a double throw switch so there's a positive disconnection from the grid uh, before they power anything in their house. Um, I did speak with a gentleman from this company, uh, BLM company, which is apparently the management company. Yes, sir. And uh, he said quite unequivocally that that is not something they instruct um, their contractors to do. Mm, and because, then I asked him several times. Yeah, so, so <clears throat> and, and, and I'm not going to impugn upon uh, Brent's character, albeit I've written about him heavily, but I, I, I guess the material that was submitted to Miss Ball from a contractor who lives in Maine would, would actually contradict that. Uh, they actually have photos of those uh, cables you know, in a home wherein Central Maine and Power actually services. Neither here nor there, we're not going to rebuild the wheel. But, uh... No, I, I, and I saw the photo, actually. Um, and, the, you know, I, 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 I think that it's, being, it's provided by someone who's obviously, I think, uncomfortable with the situation they're in. And um, so, so the photo that I've seen... You know, it's it's a little hard to make out exactly what you're looking at, but I mean, it's a number of cords on a floor. Some of them appear to be sort of a double-ended plug, but it, you know, it it I'm, it's not a clear picture of something. I'm I'm you know, actually uh, just to uh, clarify the record. I'm actually very familiar with them. I used to be a contractor in the industry. I actually had videos up on YouTube that describes the entire process and precisely how it is to be. I'm actually in possession of BLM REO's <coughs> training documents, which categorically state that's what they do. But BLM, I'm not after that. You know, they're small fish, they're a prime bender. <coughs> it's neither here nor there. I guess what I'm after is whether or not Central Maine and Power would or would not condone the use of backfeeding power into a home vis-a-vis -a, -vis a generator by an unlicensed electrician. No, absolutely not. Excellent. That, that's really all. And, and you know, I'm not going to per yeah. se quote you. I want to give you time to read the email to make sure. There's an attachment to there by a <clears throat> guy by the name of Grizzy. 
Now, John, John is a professor emeritus of OSHA. He actually was responsible for creating the vast majority of the OSHA National uh, Training Institute. And he wrote a monograph uh, dealing specifically with this. And uh, uh, to say that it condemned it is, is uh, <laughs> a mild statement, <clears throat> but it, it's a national issue. And for years and years, uh, and, and I'm just trying to explain why I'm interested, who I am, you know, do I have an axe to grind? But for years, we have this going on in every town in America. And, and it's because everybody wants to cut a few dollars off the price, you know, a, a price tag of keeping these foreclosures, <clears throat> excuse me, in inventory. And, you know, I, for one, I'm adamantly opposed to it. Uh, and so that clarifies me, what, I want, what I'm interested, why I'm doing what I do. Yeah. Well, you know, the way the gentleman, his, his name is Scott Price, and I asked him, I told him that I, I would, if I spoke with you, I would refer you, him to you, and I would give you his name. Sure. Uh, he, he said that they, they, what they do when they're inspecting a house is they do need to determine, you know, whether the electrical well, system works properly. What? And the way it was described to me is that if, they, if the building is connected to the grid, then they'll just go and and check the lights and such. If the building doesn't seem to have power, they would contact the utility to have the power restored for that purpose. That's the way he described it to me. Yeah, the, uh, now I put a couple of links in there actually for, uh, for two articles I actually wrote on it. Uh, it's a very, uh, it's a very seedy process. It's a seedy world. Uh, I, you know, my, my hat's off to y'all folks <clears throat> for actually uh, fielding, you know, an inquiry about it uh, and also Maine and the fact that it's it's a uh, step to the plate on what's called FDCPA, Fair Debt Collections Practices Act, it's nothing you guys deal with. But I thought, it, you know, it, it's great that Maine's actually taking some interest, the state government anyway, in what's going on and buying through your, your company. You know, you guys are taking an interest at least in, in looking at the matter. I'm not saying the only thing's gonna happen, it's not gonna happen, but actually acknowledging that, hey, here we have something that's going on, maybe we need to look at it, maybe we don't, but we need more information. Is that kind of a fair statement? Oh, that's no, that's, that's, that's absolutely the case. We, we are, are very concerned if this is happening, um, and that's the reason I contacted you, it's the reason I contacted the gentleman from DLM, DLM, and sure. what they've told me is that that's not their practice, um, and I'm not, I'm not going to debate it with them right now. Sure, sure, no. But, you know, but we certainly would never, never support someone doing that on our system. It's obviously a risk to our, our line workers. It's a risk to the public. It's a risk, obviously, to the contractors, whomever's doing it. Um, do you, so. are, are you aware, and this will be my final question, I know you're a busy man, <clears throat> are you aware of any type of penalties, i.e., in the hypothetical, somebody goes up to to do this backfeeding process <clears throat> on a property, um, are there civil or criminal sanctions that could be implemented, or, or if you are not aware, who would I you know, go to ask that? I, you know, I don't know that. Um, you know, I think it, it's a question that I would direct. Well, I mean, obviously I could try and find out internally, but I, I think really our Public Utilities Commission, um, they are the ones who administer most of the rules and laws around uh, utility operations. So the public, the main PUC, um, I suspect, they, they really they, they manage the operation of the utilities itself, so I don't know if something like that is directly related to the utility or it's just seen as a common sure. viol, you know, violation from a uh, common civil, civil perspective. Sure. But and, I, I'm not aware. And, and do you want me to CC you uh, any copies of anything that I write or and or replies that I'm getting from, from these, the, at least the elected officials and everybody in that? Uh, email? Yeah, if, no, I'd appreciate that. Yeah. And can yeah. I get your email then, sir? Yeah, so it's John, J-O-H-N, yep. dot Carol, C 
C-A-R-R-O-L-L. Yep. At CMP, at, I'm sorry, at Ibadrola no, USA. I-B-E-R-D-R-O-L-A USA, all one word. Yes, sir. Dot com. Very good. <clears throat> Mine will originate uh, from foreclosurepedia.org. It's actually a Google business app account, so it'll, you know, it'll whitelist. Uh, when I get something written probably by late the, this afternoon, which is Pacific time, uh, I'll get that over to you, and any replies that I get, I'll go ahead and create a filter, and it'll just forward them over to you. Okay. I'd be happy to be in the loop, because certainly it's a concern to us, and we uh, don't want to see any of our, uh, any of our folks uh, put at risk. Very good. Hey, I appreciate your time. You have a great afternoon, sir. Thanks. You too. All right. Bye. Bye. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. As usual, you may reach me on Google Plus at D. Paul Williams, LinkedIn, Paul Williams, and the LinkedIn group, Property Preservation Consortium, Twitter, Foreclosurepedia. We stream all our podcasts on iTunes, Foreclosurepedia. We have our screencasts over on YouTube, the Foreclosurepedia channel, and always at foreclosurepedia.org. We'd like to give a special shout out to Amazon.com, whom provides our S3 podcast and video storage, and Cloudfare for hosting Foreclosurepedia in 24 different geoposition servers, pro bono as well. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to give me a shout out, COO at foreclosurepedia.org.